Okay, we all know many people still don't like the Tesla Semi. They say battery trucks are dumb ideas, and the small amount made so far just proves Tesla is stuck with it. But you know what? That's not the real story. The Tesla Semi is actually one of the fastest, smoothest, and most aerodynamic electric trucks ever created. And guess what? Tesla isn't finished improving it yet. The next version is getting even more sleek, with a lower drag design and upgrades that bring it closer to real mass production next year. Let's be honest, the Semi has been hiding in the background for years. It's been almost 10 years since its first reveal, and only a few have been built, but that's about to change. The full production line is now ready. Starting next year, everyone, not only big logistics companies, will be able to order one. And here's something better. The cost is going down. Dan Priestley, Tesla's lead engineer for the Semi project, recently said that several smart design updates are helping lower production costs. Imagine making a huge electric Semi truck in minutes instead of months. Sounds crazy, right? Not for Tesla. The new assembly line at their latest Gigafactory is built to do just that, setting the stage for millions of Tesla Semis to hit the road. Elon Musk once said, I think ultimately we will make over a million, millions probably, of the Tesla Semi. Um, and this is really going to be something that you'll see all over the place. And it'll also be autonomous, or have the ability to go autonomous down the road. So how exactly is Tesla making this beast faster and cheaper? And what's so revolutionary about their new production system? Let's break it down. Out of all Tesla's vehicles, when it comes to bending the rules of physics, none comes close to the Tesla Semi. Normally, a big truck with a total weight of around 80,000 pounds has terrible performance. That's why electric trucks always faced heavy doubt from experts. Even Bill Gates once said that no matter how much battery technology improves, electric power would never be practical for large trucks, ships, or planes because batteries are too bulky and heavy for long-distance hauling. But Elon Musk hit back, saying Gates knows nothing about electric trucks. To prove it, Tesla didn't just build a normal electric truck. Musk wanted to make a machine that could change the entire trucking world. A truck powerful enough to convince drivers to stay in the job instead of quitting during the U.S. driver shortage. For the first time, an electric truck can travel 800 miles and save 1 million gallons of diesel. That's around $3.5 million in savings. No wonder Elon Musk calls it a money machine. Of course. The semi stayed stuck for years, from 2017 until now, about eight years, due to various reasons. But now, things are changing fast. Mass production is finally starting, with around 10,000 semis expected by the end of this year and 50,000 next year. The new Giga Semi factory is more than capable of making that happen. According to Tesla's master plan part three, the long-range semi, using an 800-kilowatt-hour battery, currently uses high nickel cells, probably an MC chemistry, to reach that amazing range. The shorter range model, called the semi light uses LFP cells instead. But the real game changer is Tesla's plan to power future semi-trucks with its newest and most advanced battery yet, the HV battery, also called the 4680 cell. HV stands for high voltage. This powerful cell holds up to 300 watt-hours per kilogram of energy while also cutting production costs with its unique structural design. Dan Priestley confirmed that the next-gen semi will actually have a smaller battery pack, but that doesn't mean lower range or worse performance. In fact, the range stays the same, with a 7% boost in efficiency thanks to the improved aerodynamics mentioned earlier. A smaller, lighter, and cheaper battery means less weight and lower running costs, a big win for both Tesla and its buyers. It makes perfect sense that Tesla Semi will move to the 4680 battery. Why save their best battery only for the Cybertruck? The 4680 offers the ideal mix of power, range, and affordability, exactly what a heavy truck needs. And because Tesla makes these batteries right at the Nevada Gigafactory, building and fitting them into the Semi becomes quicker and smoother than ever. Dan Priestley also talked about design updates like new mirrors for better vision and more aerodynamic flow. Now about those mirrors, current Tesla Semi prototypes use standard side mirrors, but each mirror actually has three cameras inside, 
linked to a monitor system that shows live footage on two 15-inch screens inside the cabin. This setup not only meets U.S. rules, but also improves visibility, giving drivers a full 360-degree view with zero blind spots. For the next-gen mirrors, Tesla might add even more cameras or shrink the physical mirrors to make the truck even more aerodynamic. Personally, many people hope Tesla keeps some physical mirrors since they're practical for big rigs. What do you think? Drop your thoughts below. Another new addition is the drop glass. If you're wondering what that means, it's simple. The driver's seat is in the middle of the cabin, and cameras already handle blind spots pretty well. But when drivers need to deal with gates, checkpoints, or hand over papers, it's annoying to open the whole door just for that. The new drop glass, basically a small window that slides down, solves that problem and makes everyday driving smoother. Now let's look at how big of a deal 50,000 units per year really is. That's more than 130 trucks a day. Roughly one truck finished every 10 to 15 minutes. But this is Tesla. They always push limits. The Model Y production already proved how fast they can go, building one every 33 seconds. If Tesla keeps improving, finishing a truck every five minutes might actually happen. Heavy trucks like the Semi, called Class 8 vehicles, are harder to automate because they're huge and complex. Most still need lots of manual work. Usually, only a few hundred thousand trucks are built per year across the whole industry, so full automation hasn't been worth it until now. Tesla is changing that. They've already automated parts like frame welding, painting, and standard installations to boost precision and efficiency. So reaching mass production for the semi is a huge achievement, both for Tesla and the customers waiting on orders. Elon Musk once described the semi perfectly. It looks like an elephant moving like a cheetah. That's spot on. Despite its massive size, it performs like a sports car. The semi uses only about 1.7 kilowatt hours per mile. Crazy efficient for something so big. Real customers like PepsiCo, Costco, Walmart, and DHL tested their trucks and confirmed the same numbers Tesla claimed. In California, 1.7 kilowatt hours of power costs about 30 cents per mile. That means driving around six and a half miles costs about $3.30. A diesel truck covering that same distance costs about $3.51. That small gap turns into thousands in savings over a year and millions over a fleet. Tesla Semi's fleet has already saved more than 1 million gallons of diesel. That's about $3.5 million saved. And it's helping small companies too. Tesla is also planning to add a sleeper cab version soon. Dan Priestley mentioned it himself. It's not just a rumor. This upgrade will let drivers rest comfortably on long trips, something every trucker values. Fatigue is one of the biggest reasons for highway accidents, and having a sleeper cab built, and will change that. It's unclear if Tesla will stretch the cabin backward or redesign the current layout, but it's definitely coming. The semi isn't only about speed and savings. Elon Musk has confirmed that full self-driving will be built into it, expected to roll out by the end of 2025, around the same time as mass production. This is more than just a tech feature. It's Tesla's answer to the ongoing driver shortage in the U.S. driving trucks is hard work, and fewer people want to do it. Musk said, we actually have a shortage of truck drivers in America. That's one of the limiting factors on transport. People are human. They get tired. And it's a tough job. Because it's tough, not many people want to do it. So autonomy will be very important to meet that need. This is exactly what Tesla aims to solve. Once the semi gets full self-driving, it'll mark a revolution in logistics. Imagine huge electric trucks driving hundreds of miles mostly on their own, reducing driver fatigue, and improving safety. Drivers will still be present, but their workload and stress will drop massively. Heavy-duty trucks make up only about 1% of vehicles in the U.S., but cause 18% of transport emissions. Saving 1 million gallons of diesel also means cutting about 22,400 tons of carbon dioxide. The semi's drag coefficient is around 0.4. Compared to the usual 0.8 of regular trucks, that's a big improvement in efficiency. Of course, there are still challenges. Tesla's megacharger network is small for now, 
with only a few stations at places like the Tesla factory and Frito-Lay site in Modesto. Expanding that network is essential for the semi to go mainstream. Government support has been uncertain, but Tesla keeps pushing forward. Even after all the delays, the semi is finally entering its golden era. Tesla plans to produce 50,000 electric trucks at its new Gigafactory, and each one could be built in as little as 10 minutes, something no other company has done. The truck costs around $250,000, which sounds like a lot, but the savings on fuel and maintenance will easily make up for it. Tesla has confirmed that anyone can now order a semi, choosing their own setup to match their business needs. This is how Tesla will reshape transport across America. Musk always points out that diesel trucks make up just about 1% of vehicles on the road, but cause over 16% of all transportation emissions. That's why Tesla had to create the semi. It made no sense to deliver electric cars using diesel trucks. When Tesla first showed the semi in 2017, critics laughed. An electric truck that could haul 80,000 pounds, go from 0 to 60 in 20 seconds, and drive 500 miles sounded impossible. After years of delays and production hell, only a few hundred trucks were made by the end of 2024, most going to PepsiCo, Walmart, and other early clients. Now, in 2025, Tesla's new Giga Nevada expansion, a $3.5 billion project adding over 4 million square feet, is ready for full production. The plant even builds its own battery cells on-site, avoiding transport delays. Thanks to this setup, Tesla can finish one semi every 10 minutes. That's over 130 trucks a day and 50,000 per year by the end of this year. Building a heavy-duty truck that fast once seemed impossible, but somehow, Tesla is doing it again. And that's the story behind the Tesla Semi, a machine that went from a joke to a revolution.